The product that I have for you guys today is quite possibly the most requested foundation of all time on my channel. This foundation kind of has the nickname of the world's most full coverage foundation and if you haven't worked out what I'm talking about just yet, it is the Dermacol Makeup Cover Foundation. I paid around £12, which is roughly 15 US dollars for each of the Dermacol foundations. It's meant to be really great at covering your skin and giving you a really flawless base, provides perfect coverage for all skin imperfections, perfect corrector for dark under eye circles, unpleasant spots and skin blemishes, apply in very small quantity and spread evenly. One thing that I did read online is that the Dermacol foundation apparently contains 50% pigment, which is why a lot of people are calling it the world's most full coverage foundation. However, the RCMA foundation, which we tried a couple of weeks ago, is one of the best foundations I have ever ever tried also contains 50% pigment. I actually have three of these foundations today because I wasn't sure on which shades that I'd need. I'm just gonna pop a small amount of that onto the back of my hand. We have shade 207, shade 208, and shade 210. I'm actually going to apply my foundation in two different ways today. On this side of my face, I'm going to apply using a foundation brush. On this side, I'm going to apply and blend using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm just gonna go for a small or like a fingernail or pea sized amount and just start to dot it over my skin. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush from the inside and work outwards. Ooh, that is definitely full coverage. There's no denying that. I have so much regret with the amount of product that I have on my face right now. Why did I put so much on my skin? <laughs> I'm just gonna do my best to try and blend that foundation out. I don't remember using a foundation that had such an oil slick feeling on the skin. It definitely did move about quite a lot. When we look at the ingredients, it's very easy to see why. Out of the top three ingredients, one of them is paraffinum liquidum, so liquid paraffin. The other one is paraffin. That's a lot of mineral oil on the skin. It has done quite a good job of covering that redness. I look a little bit like the Tin Man. It's that shiny. Even though it is a similar color to my skin, it does look a little bit too light for me. I'm gonna move on to the other side of my face. Gonna try shade 207 and I'm going to apply that using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Just gonna start with three dots. That's definitely a better color for my skin. I'm gonna continue and carry on dotting that foundation and blending it out. Now one thing that does bother me about this foundation is how shiny it is. It's not the type of foundation that you can just throw it on without putting a powder on and run out the door. You can still see a few small areas of pigmentation here and also on my temple here. Otherwise, most of the pigmentation is gone. I'm gonna set my base using my Ben 9 Neutral Set Powder. This powder never lets me down. It always works, it never looks cakey and I just love how this this looks on my skin. The foundation kind of sucked in quite a lot of that powder. It's not the most natural looking of foundations. I'm just gonna apply some light makeup to get me looking a little bit more awake and less beige and let's see where we are at. Now that my makeup is done, I feel like I'm ready to go on and take on the day. It's done an amazing job of covering up my dark circles, my breakouts, and my pigmentation. You can definitely tell that I am wearing foundation. There's kind of no denying that. Can see a little bit of pigmentation around here. That could be because I applied it using the sponge, so maybe it's slightly too sheer, and that is heightened by the fact that there's quite a lot of powder to set that because it was such a liquid foundation. It doesn't have that kind of second skin quality that the RCMA had where it looked super natural and it really didn't look like I was wearing anything. Other than those few problem areas, I don't really have any issues with it right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this foundation on my face for as long as possible today and I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours and let you know how I'm getting on. Hey guys, it's around 1.30am. My foundation has now been on my skin for over nine hours. 
guys i'm definitely feeling quite tired my face is looking quite tired too we've got a lot of cracking happening on my forehead here i think that's from when i'm frowning or from when i'm lifting my brows my under eye area is also looking quite tired it doesn't look cakey but it has definitely sunken and fallen into any fine lines that i do have we are seeing quite a lot of that reactive skin coming through the dermacol foundation it is starting to wear in those areas one thing about the dermacol foundation i have noticed is that my face doesn't really look very oily it's not looking excessively shiny and i definitely don't have like a huge oil stick on the tip of my nose i do have my blotting papers let's see how much oil we can pull off oh wow that is literally hardly anything this is all the oil that we have managed to pull off my skin in nine hours. Usually I get at least one sheet, maybe one and a half sheets of oil. I haven't even filled a whole sheet. The Dermacol and the Ben Nye did a brilliant job. I'm just not happy with how that looks. Whenever you have forehead creasing coupled with a lot of under eye creasing and patchiness, it definitely makes you look older than you actually are. I feel quite blessed that I don't actually have that many wrinkles. However, the under eye area today would tell you a different story. Considering the Dermacol has the same level of pigmentation as the RCMA, if I had to choose between the two of them, I would choose RCMA over Dermacol every single time. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like this foundation? Did you like how it looked after nine hours? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and to watch my full foundation testing series, click here and for weird and wonderful product reviews here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!